Hello everyone, this is Richard from Modern Healthy Hong Kong. We were inspired to start our NMN journey when we studied the work of Dr. David Sinclair in his book Lifespan, his TED Talks and his other videos. NMN has only one human research result at this time, which was to test how safe NMN consumption would be for humans. The study administered doses of 100, 250 and 500 milligrams and concluded that in general the drug is safe and well tolerated within 500 milligrams with no adverse effects being discovered. Although we know that so far there has been no human trial showing the efficacy of NMN on humans, we think that long-term human studies in, on anti-aging for supplements will take a long time. In order to extend our healthy lifespan, it's worth being a human guinea pig and trying the supplements out. We started our NMN at the end of September last year. For this video, I'm going to provide our NMN trial six month result. So a quick disclaimer that this is just us sharing our anti-aging experience and results and is not a recommendation or medical advice. Before revealing our results, please allow me to have a quick recap on NMN to anyone who is new to it. NMN is a molecule derived from niacin, which is a form of B3. The compound plays a significant role in the biosynthesis of NAD. NAD is a critical coenzyme found in every cell in our body and it is involved in hundreds of metabolic processes including DNA repair and mitochondrial energy production. NAD declines with age and by the time you're 50 the average person will have about half the levels that they had when they were 20. NMN is a direct precursor to NAD. I am now 59 years old and I expect that my NAD levels are dropping hence I am taking NMN in an effort to boost my NAD. Based on studies mostly in mice the following benefits are projected for NMN in humans. Let's see, after taking NMN for six months, what areas have improved and whether any have deteriorated. I will start with anti-aging as measured by our biological age. So your chronological age is the amount of time since you were born, whereas your biological age is a reflection of your overall health and functioning. You cannot do anything about your chronological age but it is possible to turn back the clock on the biological age as your body changes based on all your experiences and your health habits throughout your life. We started our NMN protocol at the end of September last year. In December, after three months, I took a biological age test from HKG Epitherapeutics based on DNA methylation using saliva as a sample. According to, the, to Professor Ziff of McGill University and Professor Levine of Yale University, your biological age in your blood is often similar to that in your saliva because they have many of the same cell types and saliva is much easier to collect. We have a 10% discount code for our audience in the description for those who would like to take this test. Here are my results from the first test. The result of my biological age was 50, where I was 58 at the time. So my biological age is 8 years younger than my chronological age. Do note that in this test I did not reveal my chronological age to the test company. Four months after my first test, at the end of April this year, my wife and I both took another epi-aging test. Here is the results from my second test. As you can see, my biological age moved back to about 45, which is five years younger than my biological age in the first test. So my epigenetic clock reversed by five years in four months. In conclusion, my biological age is now 13 years younger than my actual age. Between my first result and now, because of COVID-19, our regular exercise regimen was much diminished. No gym, no running. I was therefore surprised and happy to see that my biological age had been reduced by a further five years. This does imply that our lifestyle and health regimen is not too bad and is working. For my wife's results, it's her first biological age test. The result shows her biological age is 10 years younger than her actual age, so she is also happy. She did not reveal her actual age to the test company before the test, so I request not to reveal her age here either. It is encouraging to see that both of us have a biological age which is a lot less than our actual age. Let's have a look at some of the other measurements in this six month period. We measure our key body metrics every morning and you can see the results here. For my numbers, two years ago I was at a high of 76 kilograms and have been slowly losing weight. The time we started NMN last September, I was 68 kilograms. Since then, I have shed another 5 kilograms. Along with this, my fat percentage has continued to come down and now is around 
Despite losing weight and not being able to get to the gym for four months, my muscle mass percent has increased. And because of the weight loss, my BMI has improved. My wife, who was always slimmer than me, also lost weight and fat percentage while increasing her muscle mass percent and hence re reducing her BMI during the NMN trial. We also look at our blood pressure and heart rate every morning. From the beginning, we were within healthy levels and you can see how both of our blood pressures have come down from the high end towards the low end in these six months. Let's look at some anecdotal measurements for mental and physical aspects. So for energy, we definitely felt more energetic, especially for the first two months, but later it was just kind of stable. The energy drops if we stop taking it. This happened for short periods during the trial when our NMN supply ran out. My wife was not that obvious, but for me, I was definitely more tired and started taking naps in the afternoon again. For our heart health, we measured our VO2 max during running. VO2 max refers to the maximum amount of oxygen you can utilize during exercise. Your VO2 max is also one of the best indicators of mitochondrial health. Studies have identified a correlation between VO2 max and whole body mitochondrial content. The higher your VO2 max, the denser the mitochondria in your muscles. Having a high VO2 max generally means you are healthier. During the period of taking NMN, my VO2 max got to 52 and my wife reached 51, which is our personal best. We measured the VO2 max using Garmin sport watches. This chart shows the comparison of VO2 max by age. At 52, my VO2 max is equivalent to a 40 to 44 year old man in excellent health. My wife number is equivalent to a, a woman who is in excellent health in her 20s. We are also doing better lifting weights in the gym and my wife has seen more significant gains here than me. For vision, I think my distance vision has been enhanced. I am checking this using an online Snellen chart which I read from the specified distance of 10 feet and it does seem that I can read better than before. The eye chart can be randomly generated each time so there is no opportunity to remember the letters. Originally I had 20-20 vision but this week I was able to read all the characters on the 2015 line. However my wife does not seem to have the same effect. For sleep I think that I am sleeping better than before. My wife always sleeps quite well and feels no change. We are now measuring our sleep quality through a phone app and my figure does seem to be gradually improving. One of the things that the app does measure is snoring and for me this seems to be reducing significantly. How about recovery and exercise? So we do see better recovery times. More generally, when I was younger, after a hard workout, there would be a pleasant feeling of tightness in my muscles. As I got older, this became more unpleasant and I could get to the point of not feeling well for a day or so. This uh, has now gone. My wife is lifting heavier weights when she goes down the gym, but does not require longer periods for recovery. For our immune system, in terms of the immune system, my wife hasn't been sick in these six months. I did uh, catch one cold after my first 48 hour fast. At the time I was pretty run down and in retrospect I probably did not get into the fast with the proper preparation. For hair, my wife feels that her hair is growing quicker and has more new growth than normal. For me it's difficult to judge, I have typically kept my hair quite short and have cut my hair during the testing period. We have heard of people whose grey hair has changed back to the original colour, but we are not seeing this. For our nails, we both feel that we need to cut them more often. For skin, within the six months, my wife feels that there was no change to her skin, but after the six months, she feels that her skin is starting to improve. I do not have any noticeable change. And for our mental state, we noticed that we were mentally more clear with improved ability to focus. Supplements. Our supplements are here. For the first six months, we have changed the dosage over time, starting with 150 milligrams of NMN and working up over the six months. My wife was taking 600 milligrams and I was taking 700 milligrams. For resveratrol, my wife is taking 300 to 600 milligrams and I have been on 600 milligrams. We have always taken our NMN with water and resveratrol with olive oil in the morning in a single dose on an empty stomach. To ensure that we did not deplete our methyl groups, we took 500 milligrams of TMG, trimethylglycine. 
We value the quality of our supplements and we are using ProHealth for our NMN and resveratrol. There are a few factors for why we chose ProHealth. It's pharmaceutical grade and they are GMP certified. Here is the heavy metal report. And here you can see the third party lab test for purity for both NMN and resveratrol. And finally, they have an NMN stability report over time at various temperatures. This is important as NMN can degrade into nicotinamide, which actually inhibits the SIRT1 and PARP activity, the exact opposite of what we would like. So what conclusion can we draw from this? It's our six month mark on NMN and resveratrol trial. We are so excited by this result. Reversing aging to extend our healthy lifespan has always been our goal. We intend to live healthily, but our lifestyle is not exceptional or outstanding. In fact, we feel that we still have a lot of space to improve. We will discuss this in more detail in our next video. Since our lifestyle has not changed in the last six months, NMN and resveratrol seem to be a main factor in helping us maintain and even improve our health standard and move back our epigenetic clock. I would like to add a few points to this. We think it's a good idea to start small and increase the dosage over time so that you can see if there are any side effects. Also, considering every individual metabolizes drugs differently, please listen to your body and have regular health checks. And as Dr. Sinclair has said, taking NMN and resveratrol is better combined with a healthy diet, exercise, good sleep and other elements of a healthy lifestyle. We will continue to tune all aspects of our regimen as we learn new things. We have received comments saying that it's too late to start an anti-aging regimen at our age, but we think that the results show that it has been effective and indeed it is never too late to start. We are very grateful to have started this NMN trial to record our anti-aging journey and to have established this channel to share our experiences. It makes us look in far more detail into the science behind the longevity than we would otherwise have done. I have studied so many research and scientific papers in these six months and I'm finding it very rewarding. We would like to thank you for coming along with us on this journey. So what are our next steps? Well right now we are in the middle of a three months NMN sublingual trial which we started on May the 1st and will continue until the end of July. We chose to look at sublingual as it may have better bioavailability than taking the supplement orally. It can be directly absorbed into the bloodstream and avoids both the stomach acid and processing by the liver. We are using ProHealth 250 milligram lozenge for this trial as they are more convenient and we hope effective as a sublingual delivery method than powder. Thank you very much for watching the video and we hope that you found it informative. Please leave comments with us or share your experience below. We very much appreciate all the comments you've made and do incorporate some of the suggestions from these comments into our regimen as well. We will continue to update our NMN trial progress and share longevity related information. Please do subscribe and hit the bell button for further update notifications. We wish you all well. Be safe, healthy and strong.